what's up guys this is your man gitk once again in today's video i'm going to show you how to color correct your images right in camera roll and the exciting part is you can apply it in process in lightroom and also if you're able to save a settings here you can also apply it in lightroom so without talking much let's dive right into it so we are going to start off with the basic aspects and basically what the basic aspect means is just correcting the lighting yes so in here that's where you can adjust your exposure highlights white and all those stuff so i'm going to walk you guys throughout so firstly what i'm going to tackle is my highlights i can see the sky is very blown out yes so i'm going to turn down my highlights a little just to bring in the blue sky that i want yes and if you check the before and after you can see this is much good than this yes so uh let me turn off this before and after good so after that i'm going to boost in my contrast the reason is because i my profile for shooting is i shoot in neutral this gives me the more or this gives me the chance to color grade and manipulate my colors as i want yes so if you also want you can shoot in neutral as well yes so i'm just going to punch in the contrast a little and then increase on my shadows to a little just to brighten up the face and then the dress because he's putting on black and he's also dark skin yes so i'm going to increase on the shadows yes and then reduce on my white as well so the white acts like the highlights yes so if you want to bring down more highlights you can also touch the white just that it sometimes affects the overall brightness of the image yes so i'm going to bring it down a little boosting my shadows a little and then come to my i'm going to skip the black and then texture and clarity and come to the haze i'm going to punch in a little the haze yes so what the haze actually does it clears out anything that is hazy in the image and pop out the image very well so if you want to add popping or popping out colors to your image you can try the dehaze as well yes and just with just this few adjustments see how we've turned out this to this yes this is almost looking good yes so let me turn it back again and then you're not going to touch vibrance nor saturation you're going to the color mixer and the prominent color that i want to tackle first is the sky which is the blue so i'm going to punch in the saturation for the blue yes and then reduce the brightness for it yes i don't want the sky to drag attention with the image the main focus here is the subject yes I'm going to turn on the luminance. Lum luminance actually means the brightness for the specific color you are going for. And then I'm going to the greens as well. So I can see greens up here and then down here as well. I'm going to punch in the greens a little. That's the saturation. The hue as well, I'm going to turn it to this aspect to the right a little just to bring in more greens. With the blues too, I'm going to touch the hue. So I want it to look very cyan or aqua yes something like this this i want my blues to look like yes and then come to my yellows i could see some yellows in the image so i'm going to punch in the saturation and then lighten it up a little yes and for my oranges mostly oranges works with skin tones red and oranges mostly works with skin tone so i'm going to just touch the luminance of it just to brighten the face and then the rest as well yes we can't see purple violet and all those stuff in this image so i'm going to leave it this way and then lastly come to calibration when i come to calibration i'll jump the whole step to blue primary so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to um i'm just going to pop out the colors in the overall image so just touch the saturation of it that's all and then if you check the before and after you can see we've color corrected this to this yes and the good aspect or the exciting aspect that you can copy the edit settings if you have similar images related to this you can copy the settings and then paste it on the other image so we want to paste it on this so right click and then paste edit settings and there you go this is what we have is looking very very nice yes so no need to go through the whole process again if it's too much for you, you can still reduce or tweak 
the settings a little bit to fit the image but i'm going to leave this this way yes. so this is how you are going to color correct your image from looking like this to this yes thanks for staying tuned to the end of this video and catch me on another educative video like this peace out